Tara, let's just go through that first situation. Um, uh, what were your feelings afterwards after you saw what happened? Uh, I was um, taken aback that I shot, shot him in the back twice um, in, in an instant. Uh, when he retreated towards his car, I wasn't sure what he was going to get, but uh, I had a, a heightened sense of I needed to defend myself. Um, approached him, shot three rounds, shot him all three times, and he went down. Do you think you could have handled it a little bit differently, or do you think you handled it uh, the best of your ability? Now, I think I could have handled it differently, but at that moment, I thought what my reaction was the appropriate reaction, but hindsight is 2020. Um, I, I probably should have called for backup and stayed back instead of uh, pursuing him. Tell me your overall feeling. I mean, was the uh, heart, heart rate going up? Were, were you sweating? Were, were you nervous? I mean, tell me, put me into that moment. What was, going, what, what was your feeling? Heart rate definitely increased felt like a real scenario. Uh, I, I could see how things can change in an instant being in that scenario. Were you uh, tense, afraid, totally calm? Describe it. Tense and afraid. Um, not knowing what he was going to retrieve out of the vehicle. Um, not sure how to react in such a quick second um, to defend myself. Um, the nervousness came over me and I just felt at that time my reaction was the best reaction. Was it the best one? Now, no, but at the time I thought it was. And the, the wallet uh, one where, where you come across a, a person who has a mental health issue, take me through that and, and your overall feeling. Yes, I think that scenario was probably the most troubling for me. Um, when you deal with people with mental health issues and when you have people in your family with mental health issues, you, you are trained and taught to try to talk to them, try, try to talk through the issue, talk to the problem, and that's what I tried to do. Talk to them to try to find out what was going on, was there something that triggered him for the day, uh, what his name was, but he was uh, unresponsive. Um, I wasn't concerned at first. I thought we would just be able to have a dialogue until he calmed down, but once he jumped up and reached, um, which I assumed he was reaching for a weapon. He threw his wallet at me, which was black. I assumed it was a weapon and I fired. Um, I hit him one time in his groin area. I didn't kill him, but I did shoot him. That troubled me greatly because he only had a wallet and it was a person with a mental health issue. What kind of perspective now after you've gone through this do you have with police officers who are out on the street who have to make those split second decisions like you just did? It's different. It's different from this side. And um, I don't want to say I have a newfound respect for officers because I respect the job that they do. And it takes a brave person to go out there and want to do that job every day. Um, but it makes you look at things a lot differently on this side. It makes you look at things a lot differently.